Oh, fall is upon us here in New England. This past weekend, didn't really get to play around with too many of the projects. I was cutting wood. So, these might look like small logs, but I've got a pretty small stove, so I gotta cut all my, all my logs are pretty short. But, I got plenty more I still gotta cut, and that's all gonna be split, and then uh, stacked in the woodshed. But today, I'm going to see whether or not I can go grab the smaller of the two lathes and bring them home. So, um, I mean, I'd love to put them in the wagon here, but the wagon won't fit into that uh, into that shop where they're where they are right now. So, I've got an idea. I'm thinking I'm going to try and drive right in there with just the four wheeler and see if I can't put the lathe right across this rack. We'll get a uh, board. All right, so I got my wagon unhooked. So now let's uh, start her up and go for a ride. rain tomorrow so I'm gonna try and get the sleeve over here today. So the plan is I'm going to uh, drive right in here with the four-wheeler um, and then I'm gonna slide this lathe off of the workbench that it's on over onto some boards on the uh, actual back rack there but it's bolted down to the bench so I've got to unbolt it and then I've got to also just move some of the small stuff out of the way and make sure the uh, wires are unplugged all right, I've got it all uh, unplugged and unbolted. Okay, so I've, now that I've got it unbolted and unplugged, what I did now is I ran the uh, carriage all the way down towards the headstock, and I also uh, unlocked the tailstock, slid it down, and relocked it down here. So now I'm concentrating most of my weight in this area right here. So uh, with two hands, I could probably pretty easily lift this side right here. But I want to try and get an idea of just how heavy this entire lathe is going to be. Well, just as I suspected, this should be more than manageable, provided I uh, basically can slide it over to something close to this height. So what I'm going to do now is uh, sweep up this floor a little bit because those ATV tires are a little too expensive to just drive in here over the uh, all the junk that's on the floor here. There's little pieces of metal screws and nails. Okay, I backed it up to this far just inside the door and then shut it off reason why is, well a couple reasons, one, rather than having to worry about backing up really really slow, I can actually just roll it back with the motor off in neutral pretty easily. Uh, the other reason is it didn't take long at all for the uh, carbon monoxide fumes to build up in here even though I've got this big door open in the back here and I've got the garage door around the corner there open, it's still uh, choke you out real fast and not worth getting sick over so anyways uh, now I'll be able to roll this back carefully and also I'll be able to make sure that it's gonna fit down the path that I so nicely uh, did my best at uh, there's still some stuff here that didn't get quite swept up but I don't see oh, smoke too soon the nail right there oh, that's the thing about the lighting not being the greatest in here there are some screws that are just 
stuck into the old concrete floor here. Probably been there for a long, long time. All right, well, take our chances. Funny, when I was conceiving this whole idea, I was worried about this rack being too low when I pulled it in. It's actually, well, almost perfect, or if anything, a little bit high. So I think this is gonna work out just fine. But now I wanna get a board to stick across here, hopefully a piece of plywood. All right, I've got it slid out onto my piece of plywood, and now it's getting pretty darn heavy because I'm dealing with the bulk of the weight here. So I'm going to try and lighten this up a little bit. And uh, how many of you guys were watching me move that tailstock forward and lock it down and thought to yourself, why doesn't he just remove it? <laughs> All right, so I've gone to remove the tailstock. I moved the carriage back up this way. And that'll make it a little bit lighter. But what's happening now is the motor on the back here is going to hit this uh, this upright on the workbench back. So I think I'm going to try and move the four-wheeler back a little bit more so that I'm uh, I'm able to clear that when I push it by it. Well, I got it on there. Just basically. Lifted that whole sucker up and slid it over. Let this end slide off. So now the bottom of the bed's actually on the board here, which is fine. Gonna let that hang out a little bit. Uh, and this is actually on the frame. Maximum load on the frame here, uh, load limit 187 pounds. I'd say we're maxing that out for sure. But uh, the rear end really went down a lot too. Compressed them shocks. But we're not really uh, planning on going four wheeling with that weight on there we're just gonna get it out here and uh, strap it up and very gingerly drive it back to the house and then we'll probably just use the loader to lift it up off of here and get into position for going down the bulkhead right now though I gotta move it over a little bit more cuz I'm not gonna quite well I don't, know, I don't think I'm gonna clear that post right there on the bench Oh, I barely touched it and it flopped over. That's the weight of that motor there screwing us up, making it kind of back heavy and top heavy at the same time. So um, if I can get that shifted onto here further, I might actually leave it in this position right here. And just now, I just barely touched this threaded rod and this fell off, which tells me that was cracked. That was already cracked. Must have been cracked. There's no way. Because I, uh, I didn't even hit this or anything. I just barely touched it. Son of a gun. That's a disappointment. Well, I don't know what the kind of metal that is, but I'm hoping maybe that can be brazed. All right, not gonna worry about it right now. Okay, I now have it on there and it's actually pretty stable, but we will strap it down just for good measure. But first, I'm gonna see if I can, it's a little bit wider than the four-wheeler here because that's hanging over, so hopefully we'll clear, the, uh, clear that uh, cement chimney there. All right, I've rolled it out near the front and before I go any further, I decided to stop and strap it down. You can tell by the noise of that strap that I've got it strapped down good and tight. I've run it around through the rack a couple times and around the lathe so I feel pretty confident that that's not going to go anywhere. I guess I should take that off before it falls off and gets lost. Uh, alrighty. Now just because I have it strapped down now there's no reason for me to get all crazy so I'm going to still actually go real easy here and roll the four-wheeler out by hand. So I'm just, just going to clear that side. Oh, you're going to be kidding me. It's starting to rain. Rain is in the forecast. 50% chance of rain is in the forecast for tomorrow. Tomorrow! Which is why I wanted to get this done today. Well, I'm not going to have this thing sitting out in the yard getting rained on. 
Looks like we're going to back the four-wheeler up a little bit here, put a chalk block under the wheel, and lock her up for tonight.